Dozens in Fayetteville are protesting an anti-discrimination city ordinance. 4029's Jonathan Roselle tells us why some are there. He's live in Fayetteville. Paige, the woman I spoke with is a lawyer for several people who are out here calling for the city to rethink their decision on Ordinance 119. That I'm afraid that we have awoken the sleeping giant. Dozens of people gathered at the front door of Fayetteville City Hall, some carrying signs encouraging people to say no to Civil Rights Ordinance 119. It calls to protect people, no matter your age, race, gender, or any other background, from being discriminated against within the city. It has been one of the most amazing things I've seen. All these local citizens have stood up and said, I don't want Fayetteville to adopt this ordinance. She represents several people against the ordinance who feel it is too broad and even infringes on the First Amendment. And these citizens are just saying, hey, we think that we need to settle this as a society. We don't think government needs to come in and tell individual citizens that they have to take part in ceremonies they don't believe in just because they've opened their doors to the public for business. The ordinance calls to protect gender identity and gender expression, but some parents who oppose it feel it may allow unknown sexual predators to get too close to victims. It's not just about who can use the restroom next to my daughter. It's about who can sleep next to my daughter when she goes to sports camp, who can sleep next to her when she goes to any type of, you know, camp. Of the ordinance, but no one has contacted me back so far. The mayor says any changes that will uh, have to come from this ordinance will be discussed at the city council meeting. Live in Fayetteville, Jonathan Roselle, 40, 29 News. That's right, and that ordinance is expected to be read at the city council meeting come Tuesday night.